What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So here we are, this is the final issue from the Z Comics, this is 6 of 6. Um, yeah, so last episode left it on kind of a bit of a cliffhanger. Jin has captured Akali and he's going to make her part of his final performance. We have Shen and Zed that are going to try and save her, but I can guarantee he set traps for, traps for them as well. Uh, but yeah, this has been really good, really good read so far. It's been quite highly recommended for me to go through this for probably about two or three months now, and I can see why. Really good to delve into the background of Shen and uh, Zed as well, and obviously Jin. Uh, also the artwork, the artwork is on point. For example, look at this one here, look at the front page. How good is that? We have obviously Jin in the background, we've got Zed at the front, we've got Zed and Shen as mortal enemies. We've got them in the past as well when they were younger and they were friends. Master Kusho in the background. We have Akale, we have um, Kane with Rast. Um, we've got the Yanelli crew there and obviously some of Jin's works here and Shen at the front as well. Yeah, our work is on point, really good. So, uh, yeah, let's continue on and see how this develops. So, the man known as Zed was formerly a member of the Kinkau Order and is now leader of the band of the assassins called the Yanelli. Recently, an enemy from Zed's past, the magically gifted psychopath Kada Jin, has re-emerged and been committed, has been committing a series of murders. Right. In order to defeat Jin once and for all, Zen sought, sought the aid of his bitter enemy, Shen. Comrades in their youth, their bond was severed when Zed killed Shen's father, Master Kusho. And obviously we found out how, obviously how he did that now. Basically stabbed him through the heart. Got his trust. Yeah, kind of a grim one. Stabbed him through the heart. So, Shen battled and defeated Zed. Only, to find, only then to free him so they together could rescue his former student, Akali. Akala had sought out Jin on her own, which obviously we knew how that was going to end, in the nation of Piltover, only to fall prey to his elaborate trap. Zed and Shen race towards the final confrontation with Jin, hoping it is not too late to save Akali. So, we shall see. Hey, <laughs> what a shot. That's got to be one of my favourite action shots or um, pages in all of the comics. Jin, close. Jin's close, I feel it this way but how good does that look come on how good does that look yeah he's on the other side of that bridge boom where's a cali oh, how good is that hmm. there she is <laughs> i love he's just tied her up and he's just chilling there on a box just casual there shen's shen's hanging on the left tree so there she's hanging on the left tree shen there she is Boom, it's a trap, obviously. Stick to the plan. I am the Eye of Twilight. His traps cannot stop me. Here we go. Oh, clearly this is a trap. He's going full. Nah, that's not the work. Shen, wait. There we go. What's that light? Oh, there's the trap. Wow. I simply must insist on some patience, Shen. Boom. You have to allow me to first set the stage. Now the curtain rises. Our tale, Zed and Shen, brothers in spirit but opposite, opposites, an obedient servant and a rebellious son. <laughs> it's got it all scripted, hasn't it? A doomed friendship born from a father's cruelty. That the best you got? I can take hits like that all day. <laughs> A little bit like Captain America. Hello, Shen. But where is our other performer, Zed? Zed? Zed, you didn't tell Shen, did you? You hoped the great detective would figure it out, didn't you? What are you talking about? Ooh. Only that you and Zed are both ex exquisite little puppets, hanging from strings, longing to be free. A true artist must innovate. Now, Shen. Get, get him, Usan. Here we go. How delightful these puppets, they dance. <laughs> dance puppets. Right, she set traps. Dance. Dance. Right, he's got them. Darling, Mirinets didn't... Don't you see? Only in... Pull, punishing are we... Sorry, only in punishing are we forgiven. Only within ugliness are we capable of beauty. 
only art survives. So the guy's got them all pinned down in it, apart from, by the look of it here, Kelly. Now, Zed, watch, watch your own a true friend, the man you truly owe everything to. Watch as I make him beautiful. <laughs> Forget about it. me, right? Boom. Okay. Let's see you forget this. <laughs> oh, and let's see if you can make your face more beautiful, you sick. No, Akali. Right. So she wants to kill him. Shen doesn't want him to die. And Zed wants to kill him himself. Okay. I promised Shen we would take him, take you alive. Jin, so my honour forbids me from killing you. But I can make you wish you were dead. Tell us how you escaped to the prison. Zed, I didn't escape, you know that. Who let you out? No, I am sorry, Zed, but I'm afraid I won't say. Besides, you already know Ooh, who set me free. You've known all along. Hmm. It's Shen, it's freed him. Is that, okay, I think Shen, or maybe Master Kusho, one of them to freed him to restore balance. Because there was an Oxen invasion, there was death on that side. Yeah, I think the King Cow freed him. Probably way off with this one. Take him, our bargain is done. He's done, but we aren't, Zed. Zed, where are you going? Zed, where are you going? Three weeks later, because of a choice I made years ago, I sacrificed the greatest friendship I ever had. Because of honour, because I gave my word, I am beyond redemption. It seems cruel, but it's better this way. I had hoped Shen would discover the truth himself, or that Jin would just reveal it. But that was fated not to be. I'd realised that desire was selfish. Right. You snuck past my armories and even your own students, but I felt your presence said, because you are mine. It's better because this it's better because this way Shen doesn't know the truth about his father. Hmm. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm getting chills. And he still lives. Wow, that is a reveal. I was not expecting that. Shen still believes I am dead. You did not tell him of our deception? Wow. I gave you my word on my honour, Lord Kusho. But you were hoping to get Shen to investigate who let Jin out. Hmm. Yes. And now you intend to do what? Call me a demon? Say I went too far when I released Kada Jin? Knew it. Knew it. So I was right on one part. Master Kusho released Jin. I don't know why, but he released Jin. And Shen maybe hasn't worked that out yet. But the bigger reveal is that he's still alive. Master Kusho is still alive. Wow. Jin destroyed a city. He intended to kill me. He intended to kill your son, Shen. Your own son. You were more my son than Shen ever was. Harsh. How could you release Kada Jin if you intended to betray me? There are other assassins. All those years ago, you convinced me to fake my death. Thus, the King Cow could stay as it was, pure in its mission to maintain the balance, while freeing us to use the forbidden magics and for me to take control of the Navari Brotherhood. And I did, and now I will unify Ionia. So you could lead our country to safety from behind, this, behind the scenes. Wow, okay, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. So... People want to forget the war and go back to the way things were. So now we must remind them of the horrors of the war. The sort of mass carnage and terror you were unwilling to do or even allow. This is why I needed Jin. People do not willingly kneel unless they are afraid. So true, the winning. The uh, easiest emotion to control is fear. Already, people believe the attack on Nathi was foreign agents. Come, Zed, it is not too late. A few more attacks on the other cities and all of Zern will join us willingly, then willingly, then all of Ionia. And those who refuse your armies outside will conquer? 
You were right to assume I wouldn't stand by while you plunged our people into civil war. Right, so there's some kind of agree disagreement here. And I can kind of see why. I can kind of see um, Zed's point on this one as well. With the full production of the Kashuri armories and control of trade routes from the foreigners' weapons, the war will be brief, yes, my pupil. Many, many lives will be lost, but... I became an assassin because if I could take one life, I could save many. Then it was worth doing. Your lessons of the scales taught me this. But you no longer care about casualties, which ties in with his illustration of the um, the fly, or the beetle and the spider and the flies. And look at his face here. Look how old he looks here as well. I wonder if that's because of the magic he's consumed or maybe just because he's older. Maybe a little bit of both. I learned not to care about the deaths of peasants and nobodies. Well, harsh. Exactly. I was a peasant and nobody once. Hmm. Yes, and that is why you are... Re Ooh, that is why you are replaceable. Hmm. Kane, kill Zed and become the master of shadows. Hmm. Master Zed, just outside dozens of our orders await, ready to kill you. Hmm and ready to serve me and Lord Kusho instead. They had no loyalty to you, Master Zed. They have no honour. Hmm. But, I mean, what's his logic behind this as well? Because if he, if if Master Kusho thinks Zed's replaceable and worthless, then obviously the same applies to him. But I guess he doesn't care about that, does he? Maybe he doesn't clearly care about honour as well. Hmm. But I know who my master is, and he taught me honour. Oh, okay, I was wrong. Maybe someday Master Zed and I will duel Lord Kusho, but I don't take orders from you. Master Zed, the members of our order that stayed true in their loyalty gathered in the hills. What should I do about the traitors outside? Kill them. And this is what I'm trying to say. If you're going to throw away... Yeah, easy come, easy go, basically. If you're going to throw away your, your honour then and stab someone in the back don't expect to not get stabbed in the back as well so yeah that's a good choice by kane gladly i will be waiting for you outside master <laughs> it seems your student is more obedient than my own ha 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 that is not not why you became a killer it seems i have one last lesson for you my student which was easier for you slaying a foe or failing to save a life on the surgeon's table which act keeps you from sleeping? Wow, look at him here. So he's obviously got the magic. Whoa. No, I believed in you, Master. For you, I became a killer, an assassin. Wow, he's gone full. You know, he's gone full ball. Wow, the guy has gone in, looking like venom. You could have stained your honour. Told Shen the truth. Instead, you came here to kill me. Because we are killers, Zed. We embrace the darkness. Wow. I wonder if Shen's going to turn up. So he goes through it there. You value on your honour, Zed. Not love or friendship. Honour. And this is so true. A man without honour is not a man. I kind of I kind of agree with that. Honour has got to be the highest form of like... Yeah. Yes, you have to be respected. Isn't that true, Gavos? I don't use that name anymore. But Gavos is your original name. Given name, isn't it? Who gave you that name? My father. Before he walked out on you, I suppose he was disappointed in his son. Huh, savage. A pale-skinned runt, a weakling. How old were you um, four summers when he left? Govos, a peasant's name for a fatherless little peasant boy. Huh. No. You were just a punching bag to train my son with so, with so desperate. And when I gave you the name Usan, you cried, and you were mine, a youthful tool. Right, so Master Kusho is showing his true colours here. And ironically, Zed, the villain, is kind of the good guy, or kind of like the anti-villain, if you know what I mean, if that's even right, an anti-villain, yeah. And then you use me, set me on this path to domination, damnation, sorry. Because I saw what you really were, and I let you become it, more like me than my own son. Do you remember when you, your mother finally found you at the monastery? On the stairway, she wailed for you to come home, but you refused even to greet her, and you let her be dragged away. 
uh, Yevnai loved you, that girl would have run away with you, even when she was betrothed to my son. But you didn't go away with her. Shen loved you as a brother, but you chose to keep the truth from him. Instead, you chose to kill, just as you chose to become an assassin. Not because of me, but because power is what you want. And there is no greater power than the ability to kill. <laughs> so he's still trying to convince him here, innit? I know what I am. Then why have you not attacked Zed? It's honor, still? No, because you were using the shadow's power too, ha, too quickly. Already you're weakening. And clearly because Zed has used these powers as well, he knows how they work. Perhaps you lost yourself in this in the magic when you tried it, but when? A few months ago? I have spent a lifetime mastering this darkness. Yes, I wanted this power, so I left let you use me for your ambitions. But now you are no longer my master or my equal. You were foolish to betray me, Kusho. I have studied this darkness. And it's true as well. If anyone studied it to the fullest, it's said. Huh. And the shadows have enlightened me. Huh, here we go. We got him. And I have committed the crime Shen always believed me guilty of. There will be no forgiveness now. But I remember the words of Kusho's lesson. When seeking to restore the balance, one should take action only when needed. And be inspired by the merchant trading. Though many items may be on each side of his scales, he seeks to remove only the smallest object. I like it. I like that. Though many items may be on each side of the scales, he seeks to remove only the smallest object. It's good. Thus, because nothing is wholly good or evil, we realise sometimes you must lose one to save many. This is a lesson of the scales. I am the executioner. I am Zed. Right, okay. I brought us some time, but there, there's a couple thousand soldiers on the way up the hill. You are right. Yes, thank you, Kane. Jerk, jerk, really? Though I thought I would, I would betray you. Yeah. Jerk really? So I think jerk really means dear. Do you really th thought I would betray you? I feared you would. You could have. I like this as well. I like this dynamic between Kane and Zed. How they're becoming kind of like these partners as well. It's cool. No, Master Zed. Don't you remember? When you found me, I was our arrow fodder. Left to die by my own people. Surrounded by enemies doomed. You saved me. That fate fed me. You gave me home, trained me. I feared we have been betrayed. If things go wrong, I will need you to get close to our patron on the Shadow Council. You treated me with respect, took me in your confidence and gave me purpose. So this is kind of like you had the Master Kusho to Zed and now Zed to Kane. Would you betray the man who treated you like that? Would you kill Master Shen? I may have no choice. The Navorai, the King Cow, the rest of the Shadow Council. Now we are against everyone. Meh. <laughs> Sounds like fun. On that beach, you really let Shen beat the crap out of you. That was brutal. It was foolish. I had hoped it would lead my brother to the truth and back to me. It did not. Now it was for nothing. At least we recaptured Jin together. I mean, Shen was really beating the crap out of you, Master. This is what you, you want to talk about, my student? In detail. <laughs> and every great detail. I am not a good man. There are many things I have done wrong in my life. Mistakes, regrets, failures. In, the most, in this, most men are the same. But in the end, all we can truly hope is that we are at least better masters, better fathers, better friends than we had the end right okay that was really good really good ending and by far all the issues were amazing every single one but the part six was it wasn't an anticlimax it was the best one by far and it nicely rounded off all the questions i had in the previous five issues as well wow so yeah zed isn't he isn't technically the bad guy. He's got standards, he standards he's got honour, he's got respect. He's got principles, in essence. And clearly so has um, Kane as well. Just a little bit of a shame that it looks like Shen 
we'll never find out the actual reality of what happened uh, his father's ambitions how his father in essence lied to him as well and technically his father don't really care about Shen he cares more about Zed even to the very end where he was trying to convince um, Zed to like join him but yeah wow what a fitting end to um, this issue and I can clearly see why people have recommended this to me as well really good to break down the details of both the characters and also the amazing Jin as well <sighs> wow so yeah i think i'm gonna leave it here today guys on this one hopefully you actually enjoyed my read through of all six issues i'm going to be looking now at actually other comics because i know there's one on lux and i think there's one on varus as well so i might be checking them ones out in the next um, couple of weeks as well we shall see but anyways yeah i'm gonna leave it here today guys on this one hopefully you enjoyed my thoughts and reactions and if you did feel free to let me know feel free to like comment and maybe also subscribe for more content like this and yeah I will see you guys in the next one.